This is the power of the new Safi's Burst Cannon. This is Glutton 3.0. It chips away Tiostra's health like nothing. What's up guys, Chris here and welcome to another very exciting video. This is the first Safi build spotlight video. I will be sharing two optimal damage builds that are comfy at the same time. One is going to be the budget build for everyone that has only the basic decorations and the other one is how it can look like if you have all of the double decorations as well. So no matter how much you're playing this game, you should be able to build something. Let's take a look at the pro build with the max decorations first. Critical at level 7 gets us to 55% affinity. Guard 5 gives us the perfect defense with our shield on the heavy bowgun. Health Boost 3, one of the most important defensive skills. Free Element Ammo Up for more capacity. Critical Boost, Weakness Exploit, Divine Blessing, also another defensive skill. So as you guys can see, this is super tanky but offensive at the same time. Spread Power Shots Up, level 2, for more spread damage. Stamina Surge comes with it, Piercing Shots comes with it, and Peak Performance as well. And lastly, Fortify level 1, so we can use this one also in Guiding Lands. In the Mantles, Attack and Slugger. Now, many of you might have used the Glutton 3.0 or 2.0 builds in the past. The big advantage with this build that I made is that we can for the first time make use of true spare shot up. The Nagakuga bonus skill. See, the Nagakuga armor parts don't particularly have great skills, but because we can now use one Nagakuga essence as awakened ability, we only have to use two of those Naga parts anymore, allowing us to get a lot of good skills at the same time using True Spare Shut Up. True Spare Shut Up gives us a 30% chance of recovering one shot that we're using, compared to the normal Spare Shot skill that only gave us 20%. Also, we're using Recall Suppressor that is super OP as well because now we don't have to use the Recall Custom Mod anymore, allowing us to go for one more close range up compared to the previous Clutton build. Slot Upgrade 3, which is really great. You cannot stack those slot upgrades, but one is sometimes good if you need it just to get on that specific skill and here it allows us to have spread shot level 2 instead of level 1 so really worth it and attack increase 5 and lastly spread capacity 3 which increases our capacity for spread by 3 points and we're even getting to 8 shots level 3 because we're also using free element ammo up now 8 shots of spread 3 together with true spare shot is really really great. Let's take a look at the augmentations. We are using attack increase 1, affinity increase 1 and defense increase. One affinity in the augmentation is usually good to have since it gives us 10% and it brings us to 55 affinity and attack increase 1 and defensive increase only because we have one spare slot. These are the decorations that you need. 2 tenderizer protection level 4, 2 spread level 3, 1 fortitude, 3 Release Vitality, 3 Critical Jewels, and 2 Attack and 2 Chaos in the Mantles. This is quite difficult to get. However, if you only have 3 of those, it works as well. Since then, we just get rid of Protection and use 2 Normal Tenderizers or 2 Normal Release Decorations for example and use a Tenderizer Vitality Double Deco instead of the Tenderizer Protection. If you still can't make that with 3 of those Double 4 Slot Decos, then the budget build might be for you. Let's take a look at the custom mods. Here we're using two close range ups and three shields. The three shield mods are really necessary here because they give us much better guard against all the monster attacks. Michi did a lot of testing with those shield mods and found out that three really is the best setup because it also gives you lo lower knockback, you take less damage, and so on. To sum it up, we only have one real disadvantage compared to the Stygian Sinogre, and that is the special ammo Vyvern Heart, which makes it a little bit slower for us to tenderize monsters' body parts. Vyvern Snipe on the Stygian Sinogre Heavy Bowgun is a tad faster if you're using it to tenderize. On top of that, the Stygian Sinogre comes with a little bit more base raw attack, however here, because we can use this one close range up mod, and we also have true spare shot up at the same time and it comes with way more comfy skills like protection and health boost plus three this safi build is definitely a tad ahead 
of the Sturgeon one. And this makes me quite happy because it gives you a reason to farm those builds, right? And to farm Safi. On top of that, this heavy bowgun looks really cool. Here you can see this build in action absolutely destroying Silver Rathalos. Alright, let's move on to the budget build. First, let's take a look at the decorations to see if you guys can make that. Here, you're going to need two iron wall jewels plus four, two spread level three again, one normal iron wall, one tenderizer, one vitality, one fortitude, one expert jewel plus four, which everybody has, one release level three and three critical jewels. Lastly, I have two protections in my mantle. Now, this build is almost as good as the pro version. The only difference here is that you will have Divine Blessing only active on level 3 if you have the mantle on, otherwise it's on level 1. And the other difference is this one does come with the Razor Sharp Spare Shot Charm, so we are not using 3-piece Nagakuga and thus don't get true Spare Shot up, so instead of 30% recovery chance for the Spread Shots, we only have 20%, which is still good. But most importantly, this is a lot easier to make. Now, in terms of the Awakened abilities, this is slightly different. Here, we're not using Nagakuga Essence, of course, and instead using one Attack Increase 5. So just swap that Nagakuga Essence with one Attack 5, and you're going to have a little bit more attack as opposed to the Pro build, but of course, losing that 10% and losing a little bit of Divine Blessing. So as you can see, there's not really a big difference, but this one is a lot easier to make. All right, I hope you guys can make one of those two builds. It took me a while to get this video done since I wanted to make sure I really do some research and find the, the best one that we can currently make. Let me know which Safi build video you want me to make next in the comments down below. I'm gonna read all the comments. And lastly, I wanna show you some kick-ass gameplay from Visory against Valkana. This set is really crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching i hope you get this weapon from safi jiva if you haven't gotten it already lots of fun with the spread build hopefully with fast grinding in the guiding lands and until then i catch you guys on the next video peace oh by the way stay tuned guys since more of those weapon builds are coming on the channel 
I'm going to be doing uh, Sticky and Bow next. So it's the best Sticky build and also the new best 5 elemental bow build. So that's going to be cool. See you guys then. Bye. By the way, that was Photoshop. Haha, <laughs> gotcha!